So let me get the focus like this. Hey, what's good? I'm Kristen Bella. I'm back after three weeks. So today I'm gonna do a review or I'm gonna share with you the work that I did recently in Paris. Uh, so I shot a few roles for the last two weeks, but the reason why I haven't done the video for long because you know, by the time you wait for the lab to send the pictures, sometimes something goes wrong. And that's probably my next uh, video I'm gonna be um, doing everything from home so scanning developing my film I'm gonna do everything myself so that I have more control of what I do and also more to be consistent so if you want to see more videos like this stick around so I'm not gonna waste more of your time I'm gonna show you my last photo shoot that I did so I just wanted to explain to you the way I overexpose hectare by two stops because a lot of people was asking me how do you do it? So how do you overexpose hectare by two stops? And because this is something that I learned by myself, um, honestly, I didn't really see someone explaining it until uh, I found this video with uh, this guy that really explained um, how much you can push or uh, overexpose film. But before watching that video, I was doing this already. So I just wanted to say the way I overexpose Ekta by two stops. So this is what I did. So this is here my light meter that I always use. As you can see, it says uh, this is 100. So what I did, I I rated this at 50. So this was rated at I rated my my ISO at 50. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, see here you can see. And this is just half a stop. So what I did to compensate, uh, so this is half a stop. What I did was, um, so on my shutter speed, let's say um, here the shutter speed, let me just get a reading here. So, so let's say this is um, ISO 50, shutter speed 250. So to get to stop, what I did, I think this is how you do it. So what I did, I, Overexposed, so this is one stop. We have 125th of um, ISO. So now we have one stop and half because the ISO here, as you see, is 50. And I also composite um, the other two stop by, I think, opening down my, my aperture. So this was, let's say, two stop and half, or sometimes two stop. Um, this is so hard to explain. Um, I, I don't know how this works, but this worked for me. So if you have a better way to explain this, please let me know. But this is how I expose my film, overexpose my film. Of course, when I shoot for, uh, Portra 400, I just rate my film at um, either two, 200 or 100. So I wanted to show you the way these pictures came out because I was myself uh, really impressed to see Ektar to look this way. This looked really soft and really um, creamy. Uh, this is the result that I wanted to, to achieve. So I'm just gonna go through. Um... So this is the file uh, straight from the lab. Um, so as you can see, some of this was, I think this was overexposed by two and a half or three stops. Um, and this I think was two stops. And here you can see the colors look different because I was using um, like a LED light. But yeah, I, I just love, and this, as I said, this is straight from the lab. So you can see here, um, I think the autofocus was more on this lady. Um, and this is, um, I think here I turned off the light, can't really remember. Um, and this I shot the Ilford HP5 and I pushed this over, um, I think this was shot on 16, yeah, 1600 ISO. And this is the hectare still. So as you can see, um, this 
I like the result. I like the way this, the colors came out, um, the grain, um, the details. Uh, this is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted this um, beautiful tree skin's complexion here to be um, to be seen in this shot. You know, just the vitiligo here, um, the color, the red. You know. This is exactly what I was looking for. So I just wanted to, to say that uh, it's possible to overexpose Ektar but as much as uh, stops you want. I think uh, most people get used to overexpose by lowering down the, um, by rating the film at, I don't know, if it's like 400, you rate it at 100. There is also so many ways that you can rate your film. So please don't, um, don't hesitate to shoot any stock of film you want. Like I have a box of uh, Portra, um, I have a box of Ektar, so I'm gonna shoot more Ektar uh, these days. So yeah, I just wanted to show you these pictures and uh, hopefully if you, um, if you like them, let me know. About the Ektar film, let me know what you think. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing more videos like this and hopefully I'm gonna receive everything uh, from developing my own film at home, uh, I think like this week. So um, I'm so excited. I haven't, I never done color film. Uh, I never developed color film at home. Um, so hopefully this is gonna turn out good. And if you have any question, of course, you can always leave me the comment. Um, leave me a question on the comment section and it's always good to see your support. So your comments, um, your suggestion if you have something to show me i'm also really open-minded to learn with you so yeah i'm gonna leave you here and uh, see you on the next video